How can I help you? I'm here for a job interview. Welcome to Megacorp. How can I help you? Um, hi. I'm Jack. I applied for a job. Welcome to Megacorp. How can I help you? <laughs> okay, so whatever I say, you're just going to say that? Welcome to Megacorp. How can I help you? I'll just seat myself. Welcome to Megacorp. How can I help you? Ah, you must be Jack. So why do you want to work for Megacorp? Well, I heard it was a good kind of... What can you bring to the team? Well, I have five years until... Great, great. When can you start, Jack? Well, hopefully as soon as possible. I figured next... Great, great. Welcome aboard, Jack. We'd like you to start immediately. Really? That's great, I guess. I, I do have a few questions, though. Anytime, Jack. Anytime. You know it's my policy to always have an open door to my employees. Well, great. Well, what about health care? That is the reason my wife married me. Um, health care. Um, yeah. I really don't know about that. It'd probably be best if you ask someone in HR. I think they deal with that sort of stuff. <laughs> hey everyone, we're adding a new team member to the team today. Stand up and introduce yourselves. I'm Ralph, your production engineer. Hi, I'm Pete, Human Resources. Beep boop, beep 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 boop. Don't mind Stanley, he's tech support. He's around technology so much he's forgotten how to speak to humans. Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Sharon. Sorry about that. I keep forgetting about the glass ceiling they put over my cubicle. <laughs> well, this has been fun, but I have to go to my next meeting. Bring Jack up to speed on the report for tomorrow morning. So, Jack, here's your cubicle. Well, what should I do? Um, I don't really know. Here's a report from last week. We're all still trying to figure it out, though. Uh, figure it out? Yeah, we all just got hired this week, too, and there doesn't seem to be anyone left from last week to explain it. <laughs> At the water cooler. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Good. How are you? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> well, first I have to get Billy from soccer practice and take him straight to hockey practice. While he's there, I was going to swing by the scrapbooking store and pick up some of them crazy scissors. You know, the ones with the funny edges? <laughs> Hopefully I'll have time to go to Weight Watchers and get weighed in before I have to meet Lance at the dealership so we can drop off the $50,000 Tahoe. Would you believe that the Plasma HD DVD LSD HVAC Bluetooth flat screen ITV in the back has stopped working? And now Billy is talking to us all the time. Oh, God, I hate that. Well, it's better be on time because I can't wait around. I need to get home because I'll need at least seven minutes to make and eat our dinner. Have you tried any sofas lasagna in the black pan and go right in the microwave oven freezer on the table? That's pretty good. My show starts at 8, and I'm going to need about 34 minutes after dinner to take my face off, you know? Would you believe that I've got to go to Home Depot again? The old lady keeps nagging me to fix the whatever under the sink. Luckily, it's in the same shopping village as American Electronics. I have just got to buy the new S-Video E-Audio Extreme cables to connect my iPod to my car stereo. Oh, but you girls wouldn't care about that. At some point, I have to pick Janie up from piano lessons so she can get to her brownies meeting. Of course, we'll have to swing through the McDonald's drive through I got so sick of fighting with her before school that I promised her if she behaved, we'd get all the new Happy Meal toys. So what are you doing tonight, D-Man? I was thinking about opening a fifth of wild turkey and drinking it until I pass out. <laughs> Good thing there are companies that help me to forget about Megacorp. <laughs> Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up? How's it going, Shooter? Oh, hey, D-Man. How's it hanging? What about you, Toots? Decide to stop complaining about your glass ceiling yet? As you guys all know, we've got our big company picnic coming up in two weeks, and I'm sure we're all looking forward to this great family-friendly event. Since we are a family-friendly corporation, it's part of our corporate culture. 
Oh, and I've decided to begin teaching our new T-E-A-M mentality now. Truth, equality, ambition, make it court. I'll leave you now to let that sink in. All right, see you all at the next team meeting. Yeah, that's great. A family-friendly business. That's going to make up for all of Billy's business baseball games I've had to miss. Totally. Everything's fine now. Oh, hey, where's Pete? I don't know. I tried emailing him, calling him, and instant messaging him, but he won't answer. Did you look in his cubicle? Oh, I didn't, I didn't think of that. Nope, he's gone. Must have been downsized. <laughs> hey, Sharon, did you figure anything out about that shipping document? Ouch. All I can make out is that we get paper from some group in California who operates out of Luxembourg and ships out of Bolivia. I think they're forcing in Ecuador, though. Well, how are we supposed to double production if we don't even know how much output they can produce? Output? How about trees? Do we have any idea of their production capacity? But we need to double production by tomorrow morning. Looks like another all-nighter. <laughs> Every night's an all-nighter for me. Well, here's a little song about my old job back in Seattle. <laughs>